So what we're going to do is we're going to open up our Lumion 11.3 folder. Now, this one is located in your program file. So there's two different folders that you can adjust things inside of Lumion with. All of your imported models and your custom materials are going to be inside of your documents, Lumion 11.0 folder, or whatever it is, Lumion 10.0, it doesn't matter. But that's where all of your imported custom materials and models are going to be. However, I want to actually go and put these models directly into the Lumion library so that whenever I'm looking through the fabrics, I see all of the ones that I've already created. So to find that, you're going to go to Program Files, Lumion, whatever your version is. You're going to go into Architect Edition. You're going to go into Project. And then these are all of the assets, I guess, but the materials is a part of it. So we're going to click on Materials and we're going to find the correct one. So I think for this one, we do Indoor fabric and then as you can see once we open that up these are all of the lumion assets uh if we go now into the fabric folder we take these we're just gonna drag these in and actually i'm gonna copy these in just so i have them still all here do this for all items so now those are in there i'm gonna go to my glass this is actually one thing i wanted to mention too the imesh glass materials i can't actually copy them as well as they made them inside of Blender because Lumion really restricts what you can actually do with glass. So I was able to make a couple like distorted glass, frosted glass, even the glass green I kind of did, but it just looks a lot better inside of Blender. But that is kind of the pay, the price you're going to pay with a real-time render engine. So it's not exactly how they had it set up, but I figured I would include those anyways. Glass indoor, we're going to copy these ones in. Paste. Okay. We're going to go to leather in here, copy, paste, marble. So I think this one is just stone. So put the worktop in there, metal, take all of these. And we're going to put these in the in indoor metal. Yeah, metal indoor. So put those in, copy them, plastic. Plastics are here. And this, I, I like doing this way more. I find that this is much more fluid for like, I don't want to go digging through my custom materials to find it. If I want a plastic, I want to be able to go in there, grab it, and then everything is set up in advance. We're also going to take these tiles, uh, throw this in here. And it just so happens to like the way that iMesh sorts all the materials, there's basically an exact material folder for that inside of Lumion, which is really nice. So wood. And we'll just drop that in. Okay, so that should be good to go. Uh, I'm now going to exit out of Lumion, and we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to reset it. All right, so now that we're back in here, obviously the, all the models we just dropped are gone now, but we don't really need them, so that's fine. What we're going to do is just start looking at some of these textures. If we go into the materials now, I'm going to go to Indoor. We're going to go to tiles and then we're going to find where the tiles we just dropped in are located so i think it's kind of hard just to see the thumbnails in here right so yeah this is this is part can be a little bit weird i do wish there was a way you could add in your own logos because it'd be nice if you could put like imesh right here but right here i found tiles white so click on that and now this is actually only a 2k texture but i think it comes out really clean and as I mentioned, when you click on this, I have already set up the Targa map. I've set up the gloss map. So I dropped the white tiles 2K texture on here. And I really like this because I find that this, even for a 2K texture, is extremely sharp. And it was kind of interesting because I actually didn't even realize that this is how these tiles work. So they're, they're kind of like these, you can have them so that they're just these flat wall tiles, or you can have a little bit of displacement where they all kind of go off in these these other directions and they're kind of like this funky style. So I didn't actually realize that's how they work until I brought them into Lumion because I haven't used this particular texture inside of Blender. But yeah, no, so I thought that was kind of cool. And yeah, with all of these materials, so let's pretend that you got a pack. If you drop these in, they're completely ready to go. So you drop them into your wood, wood floors, whatever, you drop them into your team, uh, everyone on your team's computers, then they're good to go. You should not have to adjust these out of the box to get them render ready. You only have to adjust them to make them work for what you want. So if you want to come in here, make the tiles a little bit red, obviously you can do that. 
but I have gone through and I've set up the gloss map. So I've taken the normal map into Photoshop. I've actually dropped the gloss into the alpha, saved it, put it in here. So you get even more information about where it's supposed to be shiny and all of that. And I've also put in the displacement map. So there's four maps on here right now, and I think it looks pretty good. The wall tiles were just one example. If I find another one here, unfortunately, it is just a little bit difficult to kind of go through everything here. I think I should be able to find a blue. Right, so here they are. So I have a 1K texture here. So if we just go through and we'll set this to one so we can make it exact. So this one is a 1K texture, which I think it looks pretty good for 1K. Um, but you can see right away once we take this and put it up to 4K, just the jump in, uh, jump in quality. And something I really wanted to do with this is that if I was to go through and make all of these materials, I would actually be giving more than one option. So it wouldn't just be like you have a 4K one, that's it. If it's something where it's just far off in the distance and you don't want to waste computing power, there will be a 1K texture for most of them and a 4K texture that you can click on it and then kind of take it up a notch. So with this one, we go right here. And I wish I had something just to kind of compare them side by side, but this is definitely much more accurate and it's very crisp. This one is again, displacement map, gloss mask, everything is set up. And this one I think was an older one. So I think I can just get rid of that, but you get the point. We have the 1K and the 4K maps there. Let's go into the wood next. So this is one that I think was really, really awesome. The iMesh wood, they have a huge selection and I think they come out really, really nice. This one, I think I had the map scale turned up a little bit just because it was like looking a little bit too small with the imported or it was a little too big rather, sorry, because this was, uh, unfortunately, I don't have any control over how the UV maps work on the actual house. But you can go through and obviously there's a lot of different options here. These are all 4K wood textures, but you know they are quite nice. And I think iMesh has like over 100 wood textures. It's, it's incredible how big their library is and all of them could be brought into Lumion. So that is something to keep in mind. But the one that I think is number one, and I had actually mentioned this in the previous video, are the, they're kind of like a vinyl wood style flooring. Right, so I did have to reset Lumion one more time because I'd actually forgot the one material that I really wanted to highlight in here. So that, that will now be in the folder, but it's kind of unfortunate, but anyways. What we're going to do is we're going to go in here. We're going to find TW0019. So this is just one of the great textures that they have. And this is the one that I was talking about in the other one where these hardwood floors are very clean. Like they are much better than the ones you're going to get in the Lumion library. And they just kind of drop in like a normal texture and you can come in, you can really adjust them all you want. Again, I have done the gloss map and everything on here. So you are going to get a much nicer sort of surface look uh surface imperfections rather so any of the areas that are not supposed to be reflective are going to accurately reflect that a little bit of a pun there and uh you shouldn't have to worry about that because this is something that i find that the lumion wood floors just don't cut it like even the newer models are you know or the newer textures are just kind of you know whatever like they're not great but these ones i really really like and we use these a lot inside of blender so it's nice to see that they come in and they look just as good in here as they do in the other software. And um, yeah, the, they have, again, they have a ton of these. Go on their website, look at all the hardwood floors. All of these can come in and be ready to go just like that. So that's pretty much the entire video. I think I went through all of the models and materials that I really wanted to in this video. There are a lot of really nice models on iMesh. And I just want to kind of point this out is that all of these models are their free models. So a lot of these are actually a couple of years old. And these are the ones that they distribute as kind of like a sample, as I mentioned. So all of their brand new models are even better than these ones. They are fantastic to use. The only downside to iMesh inside of Blender is that these models are pretty heavy, which for us, we don't really care because we'll just throw more graphics cards at it. But that's actually the beauty about this. Lumion is so good at optimizing scenes. It is probably the feature that is not talked about at all, but it's probably the best feature of Lumion. You can throw tons of textures, tons of models in, and it is going to handle it so much better than any other software that I've used. It's incredible. So that, that main weakness of iMesh 
is really just not even a thing inside of Lumion. You can throw in as pretty much as many iMesh models and materials as you want, and it's not really going to slow your scene down. The only time I've really had my scene slowed down inside of Lumion is when we are doing massive scenes. Like it's almost like a downtown core scene, or if you're using the 3D warehouse, the 3D warehouse will just absolutely destroy your Lumion scenes because there's so many weird textures and there's so many unneeded models in all of the scenes that a lot of the time they're bloated up to like 99%. So you're only really using the 1% and the other 99 slowing your scenes down. But anyways, yeah. If you enjoy these models and you think you're going to use them or even the materials, please leave a comment and let me know what you think about them. I would probably guess that a lot of people using Lumion do want these kind of models because I know that this is something that I've personally wanted before, but I don't feel like a lot of people are really doing it in these, these huge subscriptions, these packages, because it seems you can find these a ton for 3ds Max and for Blender, but there's really none for Lumion. And, you know, I think that honestly, Lumion is probably the, the group of people that are, you know, probably in the most need of them because the Lumion library is pretty good. It works. Like, I think it's great if you're starting off, but if you want to make high quality renders inside of Lumion and you, you have to import your own models and you don't want to do that every single time. So I think that this is a great alternative where you can just go in, throw all the plates and throw all the tables and throw the chairs, set your scene up exactly how you want. You have complete control over the textures, complete control of the orientation and it's just going to make things a lot easier, a lot faster for everyone on your team. Love to hear your thoughts about it. Uh, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button and also ring the bell. We can catch you in some future videos. I'm hoping to make some really interesting videos coming out. I've got a lot of big Lumion scenes planned. Obviously, this was a pretty exciting video. And as I mentioned at the beginning, Unreal Engine is going to be coming out within the next month, hopefully within the next couple weeks. But I will definitely see you in those videos. Have a great night, everyone.